Hello, I'm Edmund Campbell. Government Minister and Member of Parliament for West Portland, Daryl Vaz, has come out in defense of his colleague, Everald Warmington, who had a verbal spat last week with Councillor Candidate for the Fellowship Division in Portland, Colin Bell. Speaking in Portland on Sunday, Vaz accused Bell of being a rabble rouser. A massive roadblock mounted by residents of East Portland in protest of water supply issues on Monday left dozens of people, including students, stranded. The residents blocked the main thoroughfare from Clear Spring to Ferry Hill. The police have identified the constable killed in a fiery crash along the North-South Highway on Sunday as 27-year-old Ramon Evans. He was attached to the Hunts Bay Police Station in St. Andrew. Education Minister Favor Williams says a special team is to be established to answer questions related to the new compensation scheme amid continued disquiet among educators about recent salary payments. In sports, five-time World 100-meter champion Shelley Ann Fraser Price has been named 2023 Laureus Sportswoman of the Year. Fraser Price was given the award at today's Laureus World Sport Award in Paris. In your currency trading at midday today, one US dollar was being sold for $154.66, the British pound sterling for $197.13, and the Canadian dollar for $115.34. In your weather forecast, on Tuesday, expect a mainly sunny morning with isolated afternoon showers and thunderstorms across northern and southeastern parishes. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. Remember to follow us on Twitter. Facebook and Instagram, and like, comment, and share on YouTube. I'm Edmund Campbell.